praise the lord jesus everybody i'm tanisha and welcome back to the channel guys so i was not about to post this morning right but i'm sure that somewhere along there is a, a message with this very same scripture now the verse for the day says um be not overcome of evil but overcome evil with good and this is taken from romans 12 verse 21 romans 12 verse 21 be not overcome of evil but overcome evil with good now the question is this morning how can evil overcome you what a how how and where what causes evil to overtake your life what causes evil thoughts and intention and invention to consume you that you the individual become a person that um represent the kingdom of darkness in such a way where you go around being mischievous um speaking lies causing havoc and chaos you know bringing tears being so malicious be not overcome of evil but overcome evil with good now many situation happen to us many situation we have all yes guys so i take a second a while ago <laughs> so i would say be that overcome of evil but overcome evil good i'm sure the point that i was about to make um slipped from my mind but what i can say is that you know things will happen to us things will happen to us like for me personally i've learned that you know, I've lost some of my battles because of how I respond to the situation. Honestly, I have lost some of my battles because of how I respond to situation. I've lost relationship because of how I respond to situation. How I respond when I'm being hurt. How I respond when I feel betrayed. How I respond when I feel rejected. When I feel abused. You know, so I've lost relationship based on that how i respond so unfortunate things they will happen but don't try not to operate and i know this is very difficult try not to operate from that place of hurt and abandon and a, that, that abandonment yeah <laughs> try not to operate from that place of hurt try not to operate out of those areas because if you're gonna do it then evil will surely overcome you because the wrath of whatever experience that you have encountered that is what you will portray that is what you will give back that is what will come back from you no good will come from you it's very hard for us to encounter loss difficulty hurt and betrayal and respond with good but here the word is saying you know learn to respond with good when faced with hardship obstacles betrayal learn to respond with good don't be overcome by that evil don't let that evil consume you because that is how you will behave that is how you will give back your feedback that is how you will retaliate that is how you will retaliate an eye for an eye a tooth a tooth for a tooth remember in the old testament that was the thing you know we overcome of evil and that is that is an evil thing to do to take a knife for a knife and a tooth for a tooth that is like a very evil thing to do but in the new testament we see where it says what um you should turn the other cheek and you know give him the entire thing so don't be overcome of evil but overcome evil with good and you overcome evil with good by responding to situations in your life very differently not from anger and beloved i can personally tell you this that when we have been hurt certain way we feel obligated to not obligated we feel um what's the word i'm looking for when we have hurt certain way we think that it is our right to respond certain way it is our right to be that person to be to use outbursts of wrath to be wrathful we think that it's our right we are entitled 
to behave that way because we have been hurt we have been betrayed we have been you know lied to treated on you know so it's our right we are entitled to do harm we are entitled to become the ugliest that we can be and beloved this is not this is not 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 the way we should respond and i can tell you this personally because i said before i have lost relationship because of how i choose to behave how i choose to behave how i choose to speak how i let wrath just take me over how i just give my tongue over to the enemy and everything that is dirty does come right up. And I've grown into regretting that because it's funny how persons can hurt you with actions and then you speak words and they hold that against you. And it's almost like their action, which you are forgiven, they are not able to come back from what you have said. And I know that's a bit unfair, but it does happen. So we can lose relationship. We can lose, um, lose out. We can miss some opportunity because of how we choose to respond. Because of how we make evil consume us. Forgetting that the adversary is seeking whom he may devour. And when we choose to act out of anger and pain and do all these evil things, iniquity to each other, that's what we are doing. We are being overcome by evil. We are feeling that we, we have a right to this. Somebody hurt me. I have a right to retaliate. Somebody this me. I have a right to retaliate. You know? And so we destroy each other by becoming workers of evil. Iniquity being overcome by evil. Rather than, rather than turning the other cheek. Rather than overcoming evil with good. Yeah. Surprise the enemy sometimes. I know that something happened, but they think that this is how you were going to retaliate, but you choose to smile. You choose to say, this is already done, and I'm going to choose to be a bigger person. And many of us don't even know ourselves. I think with the children of Israel, they thought that, yes, when they cried out to God and God delivered them from bondage and brought them out of Egypt, they thought that, yes, we were going to serve this God. I'm sure that they thought that they were going to serve this God. But little did they know that, you know, the idol, idolatry was still in them. And even so, you and I will think that we will never become this person. We will... Again, I've been distracted. <laughs> so let me just wrap this up real quick. Don't be overcome of evil. Choose to respond to the situation very differently. And many of us, we don't know ourselves. Evil reside in some of us. Evil lie dormant inside of some of us. Yes, waiting for an opportunity to show itself. And so don't let any and any situation cause you to store up that which has been laying dormant in you. Because evil is there waiting for an opportunity to manifest. So don't overcome. Don't be overcome by evil. But overcome evil with good. You do this with God. So, God just bless you today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy this year. In Jesus' name.